What is going on guys? We are back here at Tampa Fishing Outfitters getting ready for the Harris Chain Pro Circuit just under a week away from the official practice. So starting my vlog off, my preparation off here at Tampa Fishing Outfitters, picking up some of the tackle that I need. Uh, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple on Harris this week, I think. We'll, we'll see what happens in practice, but I think the plan is to mainly flip, maybe get into some of that offshore grass, um, but we'll see what happens in practice. So let's go inside the store, see what we need, pick up a few things here, get the vlog started off and uh, show you inside the store. You guys are in the Tampa area. We've got our spring bass classic going on right now too. It's free to sign up. All you gotta do is come by the store. Uh, we've got a little token, then you'll measure your fish, best five fish, and we got 13 fishing offering some great prizes. So if you're in the Tampa area, make sure to check out that too. Check out the video they got playing here. I think we're, this one's Okeechobee, yeah. That's the Okeechobee BFL video right there. Five pounder punching mats right there. We got the Guggen baits here, of course. I'm plenty stocked up on these Guggen baits, but great baits here. Probably be flipping the Lunker Log, the Nuke Punch, the Bandita Bug around, all great baits there. But uh, got plenty of Guggen baits, so we don't need to pick up any of those here. Here we are in the terminal and chatterbait section. I probably will pick up a few chatterbaits, uh, get in that offshore hydrilla. Probably get a few of the whites, a few of the black and blues. Those are always good options. For the chatterbaits, I kind of like pairing them up with, uh, I've really gotten into pairing them up with a craw, so I might throw a bandito bug on the back of those. Uh, I throw a lot of D-bombs, razor shads, stuff like that on the back of them, but uh, we'll see what ends up happening. But we'll try that bandito bug out on the, uh, one of these jackhammers here, but we've got a bunch of jackhammers here in the store. Always pick up my jackhammers here. Uh, good pricing on them, so I'll pick up a few of those for sure. And uh, probably a few flipping hooks, a few flipping weights. I like flipping that three quarter ounce weight a lot um, when I'm flipping reeds, Kissimmee grass, stuff like that. So we'll pick up a few three quarter ounce weights and pegs. Just some basic stuff. You guys have heard me talk about the flipping hooks. We got the well, we did have jungle hooks. Looks like we're sold out, probably because I've been talking about them so much. But uh, probably pick up some of the Gamakatsu Super Heavy cover hooks as well. And uh, we should be all set for the flipping. Bandita Bug Nuke Punch. Been really liking that new Nuke Punch. Uh, you guys saw my last video on uh, Okeechobee for that Toyota. Pretty much every single fish I caught was on that Nuke Punch. Really liking that bait. Punching, flipping, anything like that. Uh, I threw it on the back of a swim jig too, and it looked really good. So... That's gonna be a really good bait. Right now, we only have them on the Guggen Squad website, but I think pretty soon they'll probably be available at all the tackle retailers, tackle warehouse, everything like that. But right now, just on the Guggen Squad website. All right, we're back in the garage, getting some things ready. And I uh, wanted to show you guys how I install the brand new grips that I've been using on my rods. If you've watched my last few videos, you'll notice that all my rods actually have my name printed out on them. What those are is a custom grip from Sniper Skin. I've partnered up with them for this year. And I uh, wanted to show you guys how easy it is to install the grips and talk about them just a little bit. So I've got this prototype rod from 13 Fishing uh, that I'm going to be trying out. This is a 7.9 Heavy. And uh, this rod might come in handy for Harris Chain. This is uh, a new series of rods that 13's working on for grass fishing. I've used a few of them before. That uh, eight foot extra heavy that I've been using for punching is part of this series. So I'm really liking it. I'm really liking this rod right here. This is the seven nine heavy. I'm gonna be using this for flipping around like a half ounce, three quarter ounce type thing. So uh, we'll show you the, the grips here. This is how they come. You get the, the full package. This is the black one. Uh, they have all kinds of different colors. You can get them customized, like, like I got my name on it. Uh, but I like to keep it pretty simple, pretty clean. So I've got the black. Um, and then on the omens that have the cork grip on them, I'll go with this cork colored uh, grip. So we, uh, we'll show you how to put these on real quick here. Super easy process. Uh, you just want to line it up on the rod, see exactly how much uh, material you're going to need here. And then you'll just take a pair of scissors and cut it kind of already know how much I'm going to need here since I've done so many of them. Uh, so we'll just cut it to size here. And what's cool about it is that it's heat shrink. Uh, so it'll wrap around the bottom really nice. So you don't have to be like exactly perfect down to the, down to the quarter inch. So that's actually a perfect cut right there. Uh, that'll wrap around the end. So all we do here is slide it up the rod, get it into position. And so it'll look like that. And then you'll just take your heat gun. You can also do it if you don't have a heat gun, 
You could do it with boiling water too. You just pour the boiling water over it. But the heat gun's a little bit easier to apply. So we'll just take the heat gun. I put it on the low setting just to make sure I don't burn up anything on the rod or anything like that. All right, there it is. Perfectly set right there. Uh, the name's coming up backwards because we're on the camera here, but it's got my name spelled out on it. And as you can see there at the end, uh, just perfectly wraps around the end of the rod right there, that heat shrink. Uh, so it's a nice clean look on your rod. So that's the first part we're gonna do. And then we've got some, a bunch of leftover material. So we're gonna do the bottom of the rod here too. And we're also gonna do this, this top part on top of the reel seat as well. All right, there's the finished product right there. We got that grip on all parts of the foam on the rod right there. And uh, what's nice about these grips, they're a little bit different than like your typical wind style grip. Obviously you got that heat shrink material on there. So it gets a really nice grip around the existing grip on the rod. It just gets a really nice uh, hold on there. So it's not gonna come off. And uh, it's actually got a tacky feel to it but it's a tacky feel to where it doesn't leave any kind of residue on your hand. But when you actually grab onto that rod, grab the grip, it's got really tacky feel to it. Um, so it really allows you to get a good grip on that rod, especially in some conditions where it might be wet or a little bit misty out. And uh, really cool that they're able to customize it. So you can customize it any way you want, any kind of color patterns you wanna do. They've got a bunch of different colors on the website and uh, you can customize it, put your name on it, anything like that and it makes the rod look really nice and stylish and uh, has really uh, good benefits to it for uh, fishing throughout the day. So really happy to be partnered up with them, really liking the rods. They really give the rod a really nice look to it. And uh, if you guys end up checking them out, I think you guys will really like them. I've been really enjoying using them on all my rods. So I've got quite a few rods over here that I've got to put them on, but super quick, easy process like you saw really easy to install and uh, I think you guys really like them if you guys end up checking them out but those are the grips that I've been using been getting a few questions on that super easy to install and uh, we'll be working with them all year this year coming out with some cool products so make sure you guys check them out sniper skin all right guys we are on Lake Tarpon today just launched uh, Sunday went to church this morning and came out and it was nice bluebirds guys sunny a little bit windy which isn't super ideal but there's a bunch of canals we can get into today uh haven't caught a bed fish this year so i really want to just come out here and just focus on bed fishing that's probably all i'll do just go up and down the canals looking for beds and uh, kind of practice my bed fishing we got harris coming up in a few days probably won't do much bed fishing i'm sure there's going to be some on beds but uh i'm not the best at sight fishing them off of beds i kind of like getting into spawning areas and flipping around type deal um, it's I don't know how many fish are actually spawning too on Harris. We'll we'll see what happens, but uh, usually end up wasting my time in tournaments since I'm not super good at bed fishing. I'd rather flip around or do something else, like I said. But I want to show you guys too. I just picked up a topper for my truck, so we got the topper going on here now. I got to get with the guys over at Blackjack to get it matching up with the truck, and then I also got a deck system here too. So we got the deck system here too. And uh, that'll make it nice and convenient. I can store a bunch of stuff on the road. And here, the guy who was selling the topper had that for sale. We worked out a deal on both of them. So nice little additions to the truck here. Just gotta get it wrapped up and we will be good to go. All right, I got one on a bed here. It's about, looks to be about a two pounder. He's semi-aggressive. He's kind of moving around the bed. He's looked at my bait a few times. But uh, literally fishing like right next to the ramp, started idling out and was getting an overheat on my motor. So I don't know what's going on with the motor. So we're just fishing close to the ramp here until we can figure out what's going on there. Uh, might cut the trip short here. Only got a few days till Harris. I might need to get that into the shop just to make sure nothing's going on with it. But we're gonna try to catch a few bed fish here around the ramp. This is the second one I've found. The first one was a little bit spooky, so we'll go back to it and uh, see what happens. This one just came back oh he he wants it he circled all around my bait when i flipped in there we'll be able to catch him i think he's interested and then he's not he like goes over towards it and then he'll kind of leave the bed and then come back so i think we'll be able to catch him but it might take a few minutes
Ah, oh, you sucker, I had him. All right, I set the hook on that last one and uh, had him on for a second and then he got all skittish. So we might go back to him, but we've got another one here on a bed. He's uh, staying put, so we should be able to catch this one. Yeah, he's nosing down on it. There he is. Oh, you sucker. <laughs> well, we had him there. Not a big one, about a pound and a half. Let's see if he goes back. I don't really need to catch him again. I almost had him. You guys saw him right there. Not a bad one. <laughs> this guy's all over it and then he backs off and does a loop, comes back. This one's not very big, maybe only a pound. And get it in your mouth. <laughs> Just picking it up by the claws. There it is. Not too bad a one, a little bit bigger than I thought. About a pound and a half or fun catching him off the bed though. Tiny guy. All right, we got the motor in the shop this morning. Uh, all my exhaust ports and screens were all clogged up with grass just from hours and hours of cutting through the grass down here in Florida. They were all clogged up, so it's causing the motor overheat, going to garden mode, all that kind of stuff. So we're out here testing it out, making sure it runs good. And uh, we'll be getting ready for hair shit. And getting Roderick'd up, stuff like that. Uh, we'll see if I vlog anything else. If not, this will be the end of the video here. And uh, we'll see you guys at Harris Chain.